Hello class, uh, this is my biodiversity awareness web quest. So um, my focus is on biodiversity. Let me go ahead and read the introduction to you really quickly. Have you ever thought why our world is filled with so many living organisms, everything from birds to flowers to bacteria, are vital in providing links to making life livable on this earth? The very existence of these species is extremely important, but there is an obstacle that we as humans face. Do you know how important you are to the world of biodiversity? Some of our essential living organisms are vanishing, and these life forms depend on others to live and thrive. It is up to us to protect and save these living things from becoming extinct. Are you up to the task? So this is going to be the main page that the students see when they log on to the web quest. As you can see, I decided to incorporate a good amount of text, vibrant pictures, everything that has to deal with the world of biology. And throughout the whole entire web quest, you're going to notice a nice balance of text and pictures. I didn't want to overwhelm the students with so much text because I'd be afraid that they'd be really turned off by doing, by not wanting to do the project. So as long as I got straight to the point and was able to get the right information out and explain to them what needed to be done, that's all that mattered. But I really wanted to make this website appealing and look like it'd be a lot of fun. So this is the intro page. And also too, for pictures, I wanted to include everything from around the world, um, different species, bacteria, flowers, birds, amphibians, uh, humans, marine uh, mammals. So it gave a more broader um, scope of of species that the students can choose from. Alright, so then we'll go ahead and move on to task. And task is nice and simple. It's just going to explain to them what their task is going to be. So I made it really brief and concise. Examples have a, a example of a cause and effect graphic organizer and examples of brochures that they'll be making because that's the main um, final project that they'll be working on is creating a brochure to bring awareness within their community about the importance of biodiversity and the links that they have with other species and ourselves. So then after that they'll go to process one and process one is just a more detailed, more, more broken down way of showing them step by step of what they'll be doing for their project. I have a bio researcher, cause and effect investigator, a safety defender, an info pamphlet guru. And each role is unique and special in their own way and they'll be working on independent practice and then coming together to create the pamphlet at the end. So this is how this page looks like. So nice and detailed, brief and concise. They'll go ahead and click to process two. Then process two is going to tell them uh, very slightly, a little bit more detail, and they're going to click on the gray triangle next to process two to bring down the drop down menu for roles, and they're going to go ahead and click on roles. And then from roles, it's going to tell them, click your assigned role to find out more about your assignment. They're going to click again on the gray triangle to bring the drop-down menu again, but each individual role is going to be broken down and be more detailed in what they have to do, what answers do they need to find for specific questions. So for this one, this is the bio-researcher. Um, I don't really want to go into <laughs> what they're going to be doing, but just uh, very briefly, they're going to do an uh, investigation um, answering questions of uh, why the organism that their group chose is vitally important to the world, why does the species need protection, give a few facts about the life form, and also I wanted them to like properly cite to give credit to the writer or creator who wrote the pieces, whether it's books or online. So I gave them a bit of an example of how I want it to look like. I'm not asking for a bibliography or anything, but just something really simple, a generic citation. And then at the bottom, I have their resources for this um, particular role. They'll click on it. It opens up to a new tab. 
and uh, up comes this one is the Biodiversity Heritage Library. So there's many resources for them to help them start off. And then from there we go to Cause and Effect, uh, effect Investigator. So they're going to be focusing on graphic organizers. So And I created a short video to help them out with that. And then they'll go to the bottom and there will be more links for them to help them out. But the video explains everything for this role. And then I have the Safety Defender. Safety Defender is going to find solutions to problems that surround their organism. So how can we protect the species? What actions can we take? How can we ensure the longevity of this life form? So then, and then again, um, a, repli a replication of the same citations that I put for the other role because I would like for them to try to cite, to give credit. Um, at the bottom, I have resources, uh, more resources for them. Again, these open up in new tabs to help them with their uh, research. So this is for the safety defender. And the info pamphlet guru this person is going to be in charge of creating the pamphlet through this uh, website called Jukebox. I did a, a video, a tutorial video down here to help guide them through the process of creating the brochure. And this is a group effort, but this role is going to be very important because he's the one in charge. He's going to be organizing, making sure he's getting the group's wants of making sure they all have to come into an, an agreement of what they want to put in the pamphlet but this info pamphlet guru is going to be the hands they're going to be the hands that are making the brochure come to life so they'll be manipulating the website and everything while he's also communicating with the group of what they want to put inside of their brochure and what to exclude so this is all tech stuff and um, this video again is to help familiarize um, this individual with the website and down here is the link to that website. And then after that, let me go ahead and close these. I have an evaluation. And the evaluation, it's going to be a rubric based off of 30 points. And there's going to be stuff to cover informational data with references, images and graphic organizers, design and appeal. Uh, the required elements that I would like, informative resources list, and spelling and grammar. And then we go to the conclusion. And the conclusion, very simple, the stuff that they've tackled, the stuff that they've learned during their biodiversity quest, biodiversity web quest, in-depth analysis of real-world problems and finding solutions for it, integrating online tools to create an informational pamphlet, etc. So this is their conclusion page. Now the teacher page. Um, little brief description on why I decided to choose this. Um, the ISTE standards that are dedicated to this web quest. And this web quest is aimed towards 6th, 7th, and 8th. And um, projected time, 1 to 2 weeks uh, to do this project. Um, this website, uh, this page really helps the teacher out with understanding this web quest a lot better. And if there's any questions, um, my email is, is my contact information is there at the bottom. So this is my web quest, Biodiversity Awareness web quest, and I'm going to run to eight and a half minutes right now. But thank you so much for letting me share this with you.